All right, guys, we're ready to hit the road. Frederick Fiber Fest, Frederick, Maryland. I'm in Southern York County, PA. It's about an hour west of here. Let's go, let's get some yarn. I'm all shopped out at Frederick Fiber Fest. It was amazing. And beer for the BF. It's my contribution. Got a nice giant bag full of goodies. We'll be looking at those later. But all in all, great event. Lots of great parking, spacious, um, huge aisles lots of room to move accessible real bathrooms like what more could you ask for in a fiber festival got to visit with some of my favorite dyers uh met some new ones got some yarn from them too just really great day love it
Hey everyone, just wanted to take a few minutes here and show all the goodies that I picked up at Frederick Fiber Fest yesterday. It's here in my lovely sheepy bag from You and Me. They are a local yarn store in York, PA. Great store. They have a lot of local dyers, a lot of indie dyers, and then also a lot of commercially dyed stuff. So depending on your budget, depending on what you're looking for, they probably have it. If they don't have it, you don't need it. So let's get into the goodies and see what I picked up. First things first. Had to get the t-shirt. I mean, rainbow sheep. Rainbow is my favorite color. It had to come home with me. Lovely shirt. That's the back. Front has the Fiberfest logo on it. And again, Frederick really puts on a good show. Really good show, lots of good vendors, lots of space, lots of accessibility, so it's great. So let's start with the yarn. Where do we wanna start? So first up, Rising Tide Fiber Company. So Melissa is a, I'll call her semi-local to me. She's in Maryland, I'm in PA, that's local for me. Um, but these are her half skein sets which I love. They're 50 grams with a 20 gram midi. Perfect for shorty socks, if you like making those. Um, could probably get a full pair out of a set, right? Because, you know, you use 250s, makes 100. So if you wanted to do like a little scrappiness, these would be great for that too. So these are that. The colorway is here for the halftime show. And this one is she put them on the map and if you guys have been following the taylor swift travis kelsey every sunday situation then you know what these are in reference to um these are also bonus these are also uh melissa's exclusive color for um down cellar studio podcasts um football make along thing that she does so those will be used for that. Uh, next up, Cesium Yarns. So this was my first time meeting Cesium. They were great. Uh, had a lot of great stuff at their booth. And normally I gravitate, as you can see, to more purples and pinks. And this does have purple in it. But decided to go with some reds and oranges too, just to change it up. And it's also the name is funny. I don't I don't know the reference. If this is a reference, I don't I don't understand it, but I thought it was funny. It's called I'm setting booty traps. So love it. It's great. It's uh 7525 sock yarn. So this will make some nice pretty socks for fall. Next up is uh Terrapin Fiberworks. So um I don't recall her first name, but so they die on non-animal basis. So this is 100% organic cotton. And I do have a plan. This is going to be the Ama Granny Square Top. It'll be, basically it's a granny square that you put a little cap sleeve on, so. Thought that would work very nicely for that. Love these colors, the dark moody blues and greens. So very pretty. Cotton's gonna be perfect for that. And okay, so I went a little crazy with the mini skeins, but I have a plan. I swear, promise, I have a plan. So again, from Rising Tide, I picked up these little mini skeins set Perfect, again, for fall, outside my color, normal color zone, although they do match this lovely Bloomsburg University sweatshirt perfectly. Um, but these just kind of spoke to me. They said, hey, Karcher, bring me home. We love you, we wanna come home with you. So I, I had to oblige, right? Um, so what I'm gonna be doing with all these minis that you're going to see is there's a log cabin blanket that I saw in Ravelry. I think the pattern is from Stacy at Very Pink Knits. And my goal there is to 
take minis from localish or other indie dyers that I love and make a square for each dyer and then put them all together and have a blanket. It's gonna be one of those like forever whips where it just gets worked on forever. Maybe it gets started soon, maybe it'll get started in the future, who knows, but that's what all of these minis are going into. So again, there's a plan, I promise. Um, next up is, are these minis from Wool and Vinyl. So Wool and Vinyl is fun because they have a lot of, I think all of their stuff is like music based. So managed to get all of these. I went for a green theme because again, in my stash, I don't have a lot of greens. It's not a color I normally gravitate towards. So I thought that was fun. Um, you will notice that two are the same. So they had little random like surprise bags and I picked one of those up as well and got the same one. It's fine, I will use it. Like I love a mini. There's no such thing as a bad mini in this house. So that's that, um, but all kinds of colors. Uh, some of these are Beatles based. They have a new uh, Beatles um, theme going. So I think one of these, this one is our friend John Lennon, love. So those will be a square in the future log cabin blanket. Same thing with the rest of these. So this is, uh, again, a local dyer to me. They are out of, I wanna say Wellsville, Pennsylvania. Pretty sure it's Wellsville, but I'll correct it in the notes below if that's not right. Um, so again, more minis. These are blues and purples, love my purples. And then I also got two kind of individual ones that were really pretty. Pinks, of course, cause you know, love pink. Had to get those. So those will again be a square in the blanket. And again, same thing with both of these. So Cesium Yarns, again, they had the micro sets, which these are 10 grams each, which I really love the 10 gram minis because then I feel like I can use more of them. Um, well, usually when I have 20 gram minis, there's a little bit left and then they end up going into the stash and maybe they'll become something one day. But I just thought these were really pretty too, again, with the fall colors and things I don't normally get. And from Passionate Yarns, these were, these are really pretty, I'm gonna have to do that, so. These are really pretty. Some of them have sparkles. It's probably hard to see, but some have sparkles and then some have the tweed. And I'm working on a pair of socks right now that are on a tweed base and it's just really, really lovely to work with. So again, this will be my passionate square for the blanket. Okay, next up. Um, so Fangirl Fibers, Emily from Fangirl Fibers was there and she had some of the stuff from Pacific Knitworks, I believe is the name of the company. I'll correct it below. Um, Pacific Knit Co. It literally says it right here, Karcher, right there. Pacific Knit Co. So she had the doodle decks and she had the doodle bar set up. And again, you'll see a video of that love it like the the cows that you can make and the projects that you can make with these little decks and putting them all together it you can really make it your own by mixing and matching everything and i just i am here for it i love it so i picked up the winner doodle deck and again one of these fantasy projects that i that i have is that i want to knit me my boyfriend and his daughter uh christmas stockings and kind of have them pick out like which little motifs they want on their stocking. So I think that'd be really fun. Maybe make some for the dogs too. Cause you know, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta appease the, 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 the babies. Right. So, um, that'll be, that'll be a fun little project. I think, um, side note, I'm also getting from Fangirl Fibers and Advent. It's the Toy Story one. Um, not really into Disney. Like I'm not one of those Disney adult people. I enjoy Disney, but like I'm not that into it. And I really do love Toy Story though. Like that's my, one of my favorite rides at Disney World. It's one of my favorite movies, although it did start as Pixar, not Disney, but you know. 
Um, so really looking forward to that and seeing what we can do there. Um, another thing I picked up, and this is not yarn related, um, but this is whipped body butter from, I believe it's called Queen Sheba. Queen Sheba Beauty. And um, this is in the scent. Sorry, I need to look at it. Uh, what is my path? So it's just a body butter, and I wish that YouTube had smell vision. It doesn't, but boyfriend already dipped into it. He thinks this is his. He's not getting it. It just smells so good. It it, it smells like frosting. I don't know how else to describe it. It smells like something you'd want to eat, and I love it. So there's that. Maybe maybe we'll get him a second one for himself. We'll see. Um, yeah, and then the last thing, and this is super fun, and I'm really looking forward to working on these. So the last thing is this, I'm just taking it out of the bag here. It's this set of minis, and it's 12 patterns to make these little Christmas balls. And another one of my fantasy projects, there's, there's a lot of fantasy projects that I have, is to have my Christmas tree done and all handmade, hand knitted, hand crocheted, whatever, embroidered, cross stitched, you have it, DIY ornaments. So obviously had to pick this up. And I mean, the, the pattern book has 12 different patterns in it, which is amazing um, in and of itself. And then, you know, you get these beautiful yarns from marionated yarns with all the sparkle, like, come on, who's saying no to this? This is amazing, I love it. So that'll, that'll, that'll get added to the, to the list of things that I need to do. Um, but yeah, overall, nice little haul here. Um, oh, I forgot, how could I forget? I'm also a sucker for a sticker. So if you're a vendor and you sell stickers, please know, First one is from Camp Stitchwood, Serial Crafter, uh, uh, perfect description for me. I've, I've never met a craft I didn't like. It's my mother's fault, I blame her, but Serial Crafter, had to get that. I also got from Camp Stitchwood a little badge. I love these, they remind me of like Girl Scout badges. I was never in Girl Scouts. I would have probably loved to have been in Girl Scouts, but I wasn't. Um, but. Team top down. Team top down. Um, could probably learn to knit toe up socks. I mean, I feel like I have the skill set to do it, but team top down. It works. Why change it? Right? Love it. Um, and then also from Passion Knits, they have stickers. So I had to get the little knitting is my passion because it really is. Just crafting is my passion and knitting is a big part of that life. So there's that one. This one, I did not get the name of the maker and I even tried to cross-reference the map. P.S. They had printed maps and people were in the spots on the map. It was great. Love that level of organization. If you know, you know. Um, but I missed the maker of this one, but it was a gentleman there and he was telling me that his daughter draws all of these um, little images. She's a little graphic designer and she, she drew all these and you know, the it's an alpaca. I love alpacas. I sort of want to have an alpaca farm, but that's not realistic. So the sticker had to come home with me. I have no idea where I'm putting any of these, but you know, it's cute. I had to have it. Um, and then another booth that I did not get the name of and couldn't cross reference. Um, they had some yarns, they had some 3D printed stuff and all different kinds of little things. And this is a Diz. So if you're not familiar with what a Diz is, it's just a thing with holes in it. And then as you're pulling your carded fiber off of a drum carter or a blending board, you use this to basically make the roving, right? So it has these little holes and it's an alpaca. Again, like how cute is that? It was a dollar, y'all, a dollar. Come on, had to come home, had to come with me. And then the last thing I picked up is from Twin Mountain Handcrafts. It was at Cesium's booth. She was she was selling these for them. 
and it's a two-part shawl and i'm sorry for the crinkling it's a two-part shawl hook I, I don't know what else to call it i need to go do research on how to use this um but basically instead of like when you wear a shawl and you want to use like a shawl pin instead of using the shawl pin which can like come out and get loose this is like a little screw mechanism and then there's a little back piece that connects to this front piece and then it secures it like really tightly so i thought that was neat like i've never seen anything like this before so or maybe i just live under a rock it's okay i probably do but you know i thought that was really pretty and this is going to go amazingly the color is like this like shiny silver it's going to go well with my stephen west geo gradient make along if it ever gets finished i'm still on clue three I'm barely into Clue 3. Haven't even looked at Clue 4 yet. Maybe that becomes a different video. So, there's that. So, yeah, overall, I think I had a really productive day in what I purchased. But wait, there's more. I forgot. So, let me grab this. So, while I was in Frederick, by the way, um, so there's a nice little downtown area. has a lot of bars, restaurants shopping you name it it's there um so of course i was all the way in frederick so i was like you know i really want to go to magpie i've never been there i've never really experienced their yarn before so let me just go see what they have let's go see what's up at magpie had to make a purchase so you know as you do so i didn't realize it until i got home that they were actually running a sale of 15 percent off um because it was fiber fest day in frederick and probably a good thing that i didn't know that because i really stuck to my guns and stuck to my lists on what i needed to get so um just kind of preface this when uh, I was in Alaska earlier this year and one of the local yarn stores, she dyed a bunch of mini, minis, again, minis, common theme here. Um, and they were on a singles base and a singles base isn't something I normally work with a lot. So I ended up with all these min all these minis on singles and not real sure what I'm going to do with them. And she didn't have like full skeins of the same base to like kind of combine them with. So when I was at Magpie, I saw they had this. This is their solo fingering base. It is 100% superwash merino, you know, the normal 400 blah, blah, blah yards for 115 grams. Um, this is the color Stag Bunny, which is like a really sort of creamy. It's It leans slightly pink, but it's more on the cream side, so. Um, I think this will go really well with those minis that I got in Alaska to make some kind of maybe shawl, poncho, scarf, something situation. So it has a plan. Everything has a plan. There's always a plan. Whether or not the plan gets executed or not, we'll see. So yeah, that's my haul. It's everything from Frederick. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, maybe doing this a little more... Um, often we'll see um behind me here is a project that i'm working on so i just picked up a floor limb it's it's another it's a whole other like rabbit hole deep dive but i have a floor loom now it's an eight shaft uh shocked standard i think it's called it's just called a standard um but this is my first warp it's going to be four different dish towels and Maybe I can share a little bit more of that in a future video. We'll see. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Do all those, like, youtube -y things that people love to do. So, and I'll see you later.